Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I wanna show you how to quickly identify what is uh, the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine on your CPU as CPU mining has been growing in interest lately, even though it's not new to the mining scene. Uh, Rabid Mining and Seb Fintech have done a great job of bringing you information, recommended hardware, and so on. So I'll leave links to them down below. But if we're going to identify or if you want to identify, you know, get you in a ballpark of what is the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine for your particular CPU, I would challenge you to use Awesome Miner, even though everybody will eventually move over to Hive OS. Uh, which I would recommend as well if you're going to be CPU mining 24-7. But Awesome Miner can at least get us started and help us identify what are the profitable cryptocurrencies. There are some tweaks that we need to do, um, and this won't be the max hash rate, but at least the, again, the general area. So when you first install Awesome Miner, you can go to their website, awesomeminer.com forward slash download. We're going to get the full installer, but there is the remote installer if you wanted to. So for example, I can use the remote installer on a different machine out there and manage it inside my Awesome Miner full feature installed uh, application on this computer. So download that. It's an MSI file. Uh, you're going to want to uh, open it. It's going to ask your language, English, or whatever your language is. And then you're going to be greeted with something like this. Now, this isn't going to have every single part, but I'll bring, I'll, I'll show you what to do when that other part comes up. But we're going to hit next and we're going to choose manage profit miner. And once you hit manage profit miner, just give it a name. For this case, we got the Ryzen uh, 7950X. So we're just going to call it uh, Ryzen CPU um, or AMD CPU, whichever you prefer. Prefer. Let's go ahead and give it test for just for this video. And when you choose profit profile, even though right now you see AMD CPU, that is not going to be in awesome miner by default. So just choose Intel CPU for now and then hit next. Then it's gonna be putting, it's gonna put it in your group. Now you can set up different groups, but obviously if you have two miners on this particular free application of Awesome Miner, you're gonna need a subscription or need to upgrade. But we're just gonna leave it where it puts it, my miners and hit finish. One thing that it didn't show was to select the pools that you want to mine on. I'm gonna show you that what that looks like right now. It will be under profit switching. So it's gonna have this window right here and I just chose Nice has Z pool and Zerg pool, um, just because those are the easiest ones to get started. However, they don't have every single algorithm or every single uh, pool option that is out there, like Yes Script and a couple others that are on there. But I chose these, and I gave my Nice Hash address uh, for the Nice Hash one, and then for Z pool and Zerg pool, I did something different. Don't forget to choose your region, like USA, Asia, Europe, Japan, whatever it might be, or be available to you. Uh, but I chose an address that isn't a Bitcoin address. What I actually did is I chose a Litecoin address because once I got through that first setup page that I just showed you, minus the pool section, I then come over here to online services and I select the first one in Z pool and then shift click the last one in Z pool, which I missed one right there and hit bulk edit. And I told it to change password to C equals LTC. What that means is, is I'm going to get paid out in a different asset than whatever I am mining. And you have to check with the pool of what is supported. Z pool might have something a little bit different than Zerg pool, but Zerg pool supports Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Doge, Raven, Ethereum, USDT, but only the ERC20 variant, and Dash. So I'm telling it, mine whatever, but I wanna get paid in Litecoin. So I did that with Z pool. And if I scroll down a little bit further, there's Zerg pool. So I did the same thing, left click the first one, shift click the last one and then bulk edit and then added the c equals ltc so we're all good there and i have those three pools selected nice hats z pool and zerg pool now we need to do a couple of uh, different things first thing is let's go to manage miners you can see ryzen cpu test is in here but we got to change the profile because remember we set it to intel and there was originally no amd cpu in here well, we got to fix that first. So we're going to go over down to profit profiles. You're only going to see AMD GPU, Intel CPU, and NVIDIA GPU. Those are only three by default. So just copy the Intel one. Just hit clone. And when you clone it, give it a different name, whatever you want. For this case, we're going to use Ryzen CPU right here. Um, actually, yeah, let's use Ryzen CPU. And you can see I have a few options checked. There's a 
teal or light green C for CPU, a uh, normal NVIDIA green, red AMD, and dark blue Intel. Those are your different options. So we're only selecting this, the one that has a C. SRB Miner does support CPUs, but there's a couple of catches there. So whatever you, you create your profile, you could just hit clone and then change the name and then edit it to whatever you want. Give it a name that you like. SRB Miner was not selected on this one, but I'm going to select X, XM Rig, CPU uh, Miner, uh, Nano Miner, and XMR Stack RX. But I want to go down here and I want to make sure that it knows not to use SHA-256, but I also want it to know not to use ePash or anything of the sort. We don't want it to mine on uh, the integrated GPU that is on the CPU. Now, your AMD CPU may not have integrated graphics, but this one does. So we're just unselecting those few right there, choosing the miners we want. And now I want you to go, if you're going to use SRB miner, go and look for the command to disable the GPU because even with the benchmark, it's still going to try to use it. So we can go to SRB miner here on the left, hit configure, and then add command line parameters like dash dash disable dash GPU. Hit OK, hit OK again, and then hit OK again. But one second, we got to go to manage miners and we got to tell this guy, our new one, what profile to use because we just changed off the Intel CPU. So we're going to tell it to use AMD CPU. We don't, I, you could set it to auto start. I don't like to do that with mine unless it's a system that's already configured uh, with all the variables that I want. But you can give it a worker name, add worker name, and we could call it Ryzen test or whatever the heck you want. And then hit OK. So now we got those two set up. Now we need to run the benchmark. So with the miner you want selected, click on tools in the upper right hand corner, then click benchmark. Now we're gonna have all the various options, but there is no way to disable the GPU. We can do single, multiple, combined, all combined, and it's trying to use the integrated graphics for the Ryzen CPU or the 3080, and there's no way to disable that. So we're just gonna leave it alone and unmark or leave out anything that does use 3080 that's in here. We're gonna keep it on the CPU profile, and you can choose select all, or you can select just the miners you want. For example, SRB miner has not been ran on this particular profile yet. So we can go ahead and choose all the ones that have SRB miner on there. It's going to take a minute to click every single one, but eventually you will get all the ones or just select all and run it again. Because you can see already on the right hand side, we already ran this benchmark. So we already got a hash rate or performance for various algorithms for today's date on the latest version of the miner, whatever version of the miner that Awesome Miner has, and it will update automatically for you. Once the miners come out and there's a few days of, of testing and tuning and they publish it to their GitHub, Awesome Miner will actually update to that newest miner. So that makes your life a little bit easier. But we just need to identify what is the hash rate for each of these various algorithms with whatever the program is or the specific miner. Now there's duration types that you can change. Fast, one to three minutes, which I would recommend just again to get the baseline. But if you want more accurate um, hash rate of this particular CPU or whatever CPU you have, then choose three to five or 10 minutes. But I, I don't urge everybody to do that because it could take a while, especially if you only have like an old school dual core or quad core CPU. Um, so we're just gonna leave it on fast, one to three minutes. And then we're gonna let that ride out. And once that is done, what can happen is, is you want to hit save to profile and that's going to save these results that you see on the right hand side to this actual AMD CPU profile. And you can have multiple profiles, as many as you want. You can even edit it from right here and remove any algorithms that you don't want or any miners that you don't want. It makes your life a little bit easier to have everything right there. Once you have saved that all to the profile, what we can do is close this out, go back to the main page, and then look under coins or online services. Now, unfortunately, if you look under online services, it has the profile set as default, whereas coins, it has AMD CPU. So this is more realistic than anything, because if we look at hashrate.no, you know, Monero is up there and Raptorium is up there as profitable currencies to mine. It just doesn't have the nice hash random X um, option in awesome miner. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But oftentimes, some of these projects get lag or there's some issue or reporting or API, and it just doesn't report correctly. For example, this dagger or XDAG, random X one, 
It says we're going to make $1.17 a day and profits $1.06. And let me show you how I edit that power because you can actually change the power configuration right here. If you click on edit and go to power and cost, you could put in your, your, you know, your total um, cost for electricity. So override global electricity price per kilowatt hour. We're putting 10 cents per kilowatt hour. If you want to add additional wattage that your system might be using, like maybe the CPU or hard drives or fans or whatever, if you can actually calculate that and separate that from your Intel or AMD CPU, which technically you could do with hardware info, then that might be a good bet to do and add that information in there. In this case, we're going to leave it off and hit OK. And then it's calculating for the amount of electricity that we would use at whatever the, the performance was that it got from the benchmark. It's hash rate and power draw if it doesn't have power draw numbers again what we can do is we come here to edit and we can go to whatever algorithm and you'll see on the right hand side it has power set to default but it's not actually seeing it so we could be like 140 go to custom 140 or we can go to another algorithm let's say for example one that we just saw c11 and we could go to custom and say you know maybe it did 160. You can plug in all that information and that will help your miner actually calculate whatever the, the, the electricity draw is. For example, we could see on hashrate.no, we should be around 131 watts. Maybe our CPU isn't as efficient. We're doing like 135, 138. We can actually plug that in for the Monero algorithm or the random X algorithm. So let's go down to random X. It did, it's saying where we were at 45 watts on this particular algorithm, which I find kind of hard to believe. Um, but we can always run this or start mining and then monitor it and watch the power draw on the right hand side to compare that against hash rate dot no. But now that you've got the benchmark done and you know how to come in here to your, your profiles or your profit profiles to edit things as well as your power, this can help you kind of fine tune your rig. And actually, because as a profit switching miner, it will automatically switch to whatever the most profitable cryptocurrency is. Now, the online services has SHA-256 in here, and that's because, again, it has the wrong profile. So we switched that to AMD CPU. Watch this window change. There you go. So nice hash, random X. Uh, then it has versus hash. But we can go ahead and go back to our main page, our miners, and then let this bad boy eat. And this just gets you in the ballpark and gives you a base understanding or baseline for where to start with mining with your CPU if you're new to it. Again, a lot of people would just use Hive and focus on the currencies that whatever hash rate dot no or what to mine or whatever your favorite mining calculator advises you to, but you can always get a baseline, have a full understanding of what your hash rate is, what your power draw is for your various pieces of equipment. Again, this time focusing on CPUs and then go ahead and focus on those currencies, those cryptos, uh, and get paid out in whatever you want because with Zpool and Zergpool, you can get paid out in, in a different currency than what you're mining. And then with NiceHash, you get to mine, you know, random X or what have you, but then get paid out in Bitcoin. So choose what's best for you, your setup, your configuration. Awesome Miner is just here to help you get that baseline information and then allows you to really fine tune per your setup and configuration. However, that's going to do it for today's video. So please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification button to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description. They'll support us in what we do here, and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.